When was the last time you looked closely at your cable TV bill? If it's been a while, chances are you're paying more than when you signed up for service. Martha has more in today's On Your Side. Hi, Mike. Well, as Consumer Reports reveals, the price hike could be due to a slew of confusing, costly fees that quickly add up. But there could be some help on the horizon. How much do you pay your cable company? We pay a lot, more than $350 a month. We pay in the area of like $260 now a month for everything. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. I dropped my cable. Uh, it became really expensive. Look closely at your cable bill. You might be surprised to find fees you never heard of. Driving up the cost, broadcast TV fee, regional sports fee, set-top box or rental fees, and many more. Add it all up, and according to a CR report, the average cable subscriber pays nearly $450 in customer-imposed fees every year. These fees are hidden, consumers are confused by them, and they're really annoyed by them. Most importantly, they're getting worse and they're expensive. So how can you cut those pesky fees? If you guessed cutting the cable TV cord, you're right. A good quality digital antenna costs about $35 and can tune in local TV stations for free. Streaming services on your smart TV or streaming device might charge a monthly subscription fee, but that's it. And relief might be on the way from Washington. Congress passed a law last December, and it does three basic things. Number one, it requires cable companies to disclose at the point of sale, meaning right when you're going to sign up for service, of what your total overall price is going to be, including all fees, taxes. Number two, if you don't like it, you have 24 hours to change your mind and cancel. Without any penalty, you can get out of that deal. And number three, you no longer will have to pay for equipment that the cable company gives you, like a Wi-Fi router. Even if you don't use that router, you no longer have to pay for it. So that bill will take effect later this year. And if you're thinking about cutting the cord, but you're worried about not being able to watch your favorite news team right here on News 8 Now, Consumer Reports has some buying advice for digital TV antennas too. Mike? All right, thanks a lot, Martha. We wouldn't want that to happen.